Shelley Clark Shelley Clark, born July 27, 1947, is an American singer, dancer, and actress, best known as a founding member of the 1970s R&B girls group, Honeycomb, who had the number one Billboard Hot 100 hit single, Want, as released in March 1971. Early Life Shelley was born Mashal Clark in Brooklyn, New York, on July 27, 1947. Her mother, Lily Gaynan Clark, a Russian Jew, was a concert pianist. Her father, Edward Evans Clark from Barbados, was a self-taught dancer, singer, and entertainer. Clark had an older brother, Ilya Clark, who was born in 1945. The family moved from Brooklyn to Los Angeles, California, in 1957. Career Early career Clark began her career as a dancer, singer, and actress at age six. At age seven, she and her brother were cast in the hit Broadway musical House of Flowers, which starred Pearl Bailey and Diane Carroll. The musical ran every night for eight months. Clark and her brother were known as the Clark Kids. Their father became their dance trainer and manager. In 1957, the Clark Kids were signed to Columbia Records as Ilya and Michelle Clark. They recorded an album entitled Calypso Songs for Children. In 1957, nine-year-old Clark was cast as part of the Cotton Club Review of 1957. In the review, she sang the song Evelina and shared the stage with Cab Calloway. Clark was the youngest performer in the cast and the youngest to perform at Palace Theater and the Apollo in New York. The Cotton Club Review was a seven-month national tour. While attending the University of Southern California on a scholarship for talented singers, Clark worked as a session vocalist to make some extra money. During this time, Clark was asked to audition for the Ike and Tina Turner Review in 1966. The audition took place at her home, and she was hired on the spot to be an Ikeette. Although Clark never recorded as an Ikeette, she did perform with the Review until a near-fatal bus crash in Wichita, Kansas. While Clark was recuperating, new Ikeettes were hired and the tour continued without her. After recuperating, Clark was hired as lead dancer to tour with the Little Richard Review. She also recorded and toured with various artists, including Dusty Springfield on her Canadian tour, and with Bill Medley in Las Vegas. Clark was a featured singer on the recording Mac Arthur Park by Richard Harris. She also performed with Tom Jones. Honey Cone In 1968, Clark met singer Carolyn Willies through longtime industry veteran Shirley Mee Matthews. The trio formed a girls' group called the Cover Girls and performed in local clubs and theaters. Singer Edna Wright asked Clark and Willies to appear with her on the Andy Williams show in 1968. In addition, Wright asked Eddie Holland of the newly formed Invictus Records and formerly of Motown Records to watch the show. Holland was so impressed that he convinced the girls to start a group. He gave the trio the name Honeycomb with Wright as lead singer. During a break from recording with Honeycomb in Detroit, the group went back to Los Angeles and Clark was hired as a regular on the TV show The Jim Nabbers Hour. In May 1969, Honeycomb's debut single, While You're Out Looking for Sugar, was released on Hot Wax Records. It spent eight weeks on Billboard's R&B chart and peaked at No. 26 on August 16, 1969. The follow-up Girls, It Ain't Easy, was released in September 1969 and peaked at No. 8 on November 16, 1969 on the R&B chart after appearing for nine weeks. In 1971, Clark had to abruptly leave the Jim Nabbers hour when the Honeycomb's single Want Ads climbed the charts, knocking the Rolling Stones' brown sugar out of the no one spot. Want Eds proved to be their biggest success, spending 14 weeks on the charts and topping the R&B and pop charts, and selling over one million copies. It was certified gold by the R.I.A.A. in May 1971. Stick Up, which also sold more than one million units, was another no one R&B hit and no eleven pop. Honeycomb had further chart success with One Monkey Don't Stop. Clark, along with Wright and Willies, appeared on the September 2, 1971, cover of Jet magazine. 
By 1973, Honeycomb had four top 40 Billboard, Hot 100 hits and nine top 40 Billboard R&B hits, but the group disbanded that year, starting with Willie's who was dissatisfied with the lack of control over her career. Soon after, Hot Wax Records folded. Post Honeycomb Personal Life Clark married rock and roll Hall of Famer Verdine White, founding member and bassist of Earth, Wind and Fire, in their Bel Air, California home on December 31, 1980. They have a son and granddaughter. Discography Albums 1957, Ilya and Michelle Clark Calypso Songs for Children, Columbia Backing Vocal Credits 1969 Tommy Rodizzi, 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 Tommy Rodizzi, Rodizzi, and Tommy Rodizzi, Tommy Rodizzi, 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 Honeycomb Discography Television Slash Film Credits 1959 The Green Pastures Angel 1968 The Andy Williams Show Backup Singer 1969-1971 The Jim Nabbers Hour Regular Dancer and Singer 1978 Hot City Television Show Singer Dancer and Occasional Hosts 1989, CBS Summer Playhouse TV series episode, Coming to America Dialogue Coach. Honeycomb TV slash film credits. Equals equals, references equals equals, equals. <laughs>